Good. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello, hello, is it? Hal Harton. Fine. Finda. Name. Finda? Yes, Finda. Nice to meet you. Whole new wardrobe for the trip. Because my suitcase does not get here. Yeah. We're going to call it the hunt for Red October. Yeah. That's Can't find the sub. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Himself and all hey, they had this awesome show back in the 80s. It's called the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, Dukes of Hazard. Will yeah. the boys make it? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, JQ and his driving, he uh, he puts on a show. Yes, it was punishment for uh, for losing my bag. Yeah. No, it was a previous warm up for the Dakar rally. Is what that's <laughs> anyway, here we are. So it's the beginning of our hunt. Um, sighting in our rifles and we're going to go look for buffalo and anything else that's sort of minding its own business that we're, we're really looking for. <laughs> so you put the backpack down and shoot off the backpack here. Dog. That is... Plum center. Yeah, I, so I, I mean, a hundred yards. It is absolutely right in the middle of a Bitcoin. Well done. Hey, I guess your Dakar rally uh, worked yeah, out well. Yeah, Dakar rally put it back on. Yeah, it's a Quinn-proof case there. Jeez, it's a hundred yards, and if someone can shoot a 416 at a hundred yards, plumb through the bull. There's been a bit of practice involved. Preparation. Okay, for a shot. Look at those two. <laughs> yeah, this guy needs improvement. So, so it's okay. So here's father, here's son, here's the so called expert, here's the rank amateur. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, rank is, rank is correct. We're going to take with a walk with the wind into our face. 
you know, just walk through these valley systems and go up and try and pick up tracks at water holes. Still early days, we're going to just see where things are moving. Down here, it is riddled with buffalo. They live in here. Yeah. And we put up a trail cam, and the other one with the broken horn, yeah. he lives down here. Yeah. But every evening they, they come out to feed, and but to get in there and get onto them is it's not easy. Yeah. day two and we are now sort of glassing for buffalo and kudu and bushbuck but obviously buffalo is our main quarry and we're in an area where a lot of buffalo big bulls occur they like it here there's lots of good grazing there's water and we see a lot of them um, so we are just spending about an hour here and if we don't find anything we'll move but you often see them from this spot <laughs> that's, that's what it's all about right that's there, fun um, that's why I said grab your rifle I mean if he's coming at us then you're gonna shoot him yeah 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 but uh, but he went to the left I mean to yeah. the right his left 
it shows you how sharp they were. Yeah, yeah. Just a little blow like at Nest Day. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, if I was in Zambia and those places, I'd shoot that ball. Yeah. But I know what the, we've got here, and he's just, he's probably a year too young. Okay. There's, there's just a little bit of hair and... Yeah, I but, understand. I mean, totally. he's a glorious ball. But we've got time and I want to do it. Yes. I'm with you. And what we're doing now is what it's all about. Yep. Uh -huh. But we had him dead in the water. Oh, yeah. In fact, when I saw him first, his head was completely fine. He was fast asleep. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. That's what I was saying, too. <laughs> yeah. I guess it yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, awesome, man. It was hard for me to pick it out until he stood. Yeah, that's yeah. why I said, yep. let me yep. give him a bit yeah. of movement. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So if you were on the sticks and he came out like that, I mean, you had a wonderful shot at him. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. And he stayed there just that one second, yes. two second, bam. So, I mean, I would have picked you up first. Yeah. So, you know, and if he came out, then you would have had at yeah. least that three, yeah. at least three seconds of good yep. shooting time. Yep. Go. It yeah. makes the old ticker work. Yeah. Because uh, to me, it's all about the hunt. Yeah. Uh, a buffalo, that's why you, when you see one on the first morning, you're bumming like 100 yards in the truck, that's not buffalo. Yeah. Because they're wily. Yeah. And yeah. they are going to skunk us more times than we skunk them. Yeah. Yeah. Just the young ones, inexperienced, is the ones that like that, that lay down and yeah. go to sleep and don't worry about it. Yeah. But the, it's much easier to stalk, say, two bulls like that than 25 of the herd. Yeah. Because the cows pick you up yeah. so quickly. Too many eyeballs yeah. looking at you. That is that. Good boy. Great shot. That's all you could see. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I'm in. Look at that. Yeah. Here, hold it again. That shot, sir. Yeah. All that's you all, see that's was, all I could see. Yeah. I couldn't see anything else. That's it. Yeah, I knew it hit him in the neck, yeah. but I didn't realize it was just right there at that jawbone, but I knew it was that's all there was to it. No, no. I had no other I had no other shot. And I knew you could place one in there because he was like this. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. And what I, I knew thinking. that's where you treat him. And, and I'm uh, I'm confident with someone like you, you I, I don't have to tell you, that's why I just said because you know, if yeah. you say to a beginner, they don't really know where to yeah, put yeah. That's the only place I have yeah, to shoot. That's a great shot. That is a hell of a bull. Oh, I love it. That is a hell of a bull. Well done. Thank you. Nice. Well done, guys. Good eyes. Good eyes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah. Ah, appreciate it very much. Good yeah, spotting. Nice. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a beautiful yeah. Nyala. Well done. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank right. You. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> A nice DIT ball. dead in track. Nice ball. That's a hell of a ball. It, it wasn't a big what? No, no, no. Because no. it was right into the bone. It yeah. went straight into the bone. I mean, he was dead before he hit the ground. Yeah. 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 But uh, no, I, that's perfect, man. Jeez, I that's appreciate a nice it. Ball. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm tickled to death. Because we've been a couple of times, I wasn't going to just shoot on Yarla. Yeah. You know, we wanted a nice uh, in, And in, I saw I saw those tips flaring like that. And I yeah. thought, beautiful. Let's yeah. whack it. Yeah. I mean, that's a, I mean, look at the mass. Oh, I know it. He's an I can't absolute wait to, beaut. We'll drag and him right over look, look, look how old he is. Eh? Look at this. Yeah. You see here? Where he's been fighting? Yeah, yeah. And, and he's he's actually out of neck. Mm-hmm. I have to tell you, he's a little bit out of neck. Yeah, it's okay. Well, that's the one you want to shoot there. That's exactly that's right. right. Yeah. That's, exactly. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Now, quit picking my Nyala. <laughs> quit picking at him. He's good. Well, yeah, oh, there is not a trip. tooth in his mouth. He wouldn't have made the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Stunning. I love the flare and I love the weight. Yep. Yeah. 
So this this bull is about you in about the 10 to 12 year old bull. Yeah. I mean he's got hasn't got a tooth in his mouth. He's mm -hmm. done. I'm so I'm so, I'm so delighted to see. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I, I, all I had was just that. To just shoot that at. muscle. That's all actually, I had to yeah. shoot at. Uh, this is a beautiful Nyala bull. I mean, it's an old bull. He's actually got no teeth in his mouth. We've been hunting all morning. We've seen a couple of buffalo, some very nice Nyala bulls. Um, we made a stalk on a buffalo. Um, he wasn't quite old enough, so we let him go. And then this afternoon, we uh, thought we'd go and try and find some more buffalo. And then in this draw here, Frinda saw this big Nyala bull and we stalked him and we shot him at about 80 yards. Hal made a very good shot into the neck because that's all he could see. And there's not a tooth in this Nyala's mouth. He's absolutely what you should be taking as a trophy. It's not about size all the time. It's about the age. And this is a beauty. What do you think? I love it. I love it. And and like our last trip over here, old and decrepit was the, the description that we wanted. Old and decrepit. Things that might not make it through the winter. And uh, thank you. It's, it's awesome. These guys are awesome. They, they found it from the truck. And... Uh, we had our Tejano music playing because that's normally what brings us luck. So <laughs> <laughs> it was about three minutes into the play, right? Yeah. Not even that. Not even three minutes into the playlist, and uh, here it is. <laughs> uh, we don't dance. We had old Ramon Ayala, Dragos Amargos. It's our next morning. We shot a very nice Nyala yesterday. Saw a few buffalo. We stalked a group, stalked another sort of two of them, and they just weren't quite old enough but we had a good day yesterday now we looking for some more shooter in there. In fact, there might be more than one shooter in there, but the, the one is young mm -hmm. and the one is, is hard. I mean, it's not a monster as, as in an old, old bull, but he's plenty good to shoot. Yeah. And I mean, he's a very big bull. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we've seen, we, we're, we're ticking off the list. Bro. Yeah. yeah one, one stock closer. A yeah. little more music and it'll be good. <laughs> We've seen quite a few buffalo today, we've stalked a few, been bust a few times, uh, they've got on top of us today. But uh, David's just seen a couple and then we've gone to stand with him and then we saw a group going over the hill which we think is probably the same group he saw. We're going to go and take a look.
too early now. Not too early. Up until the moment I pulled the trigger, there was no excitement. By the time I got to the bottom of the hill, I could barely even function. I was shaking so bad. <laughs> go and enjoy him, go and enjoy him. He's all yours, bro. Oh. Oh. oh, that's a beautiful bull. That, too, is a great bull. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we very emotional. <laughs> oh. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, what a trophy. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Whew. Have us a run around. Oh, no joke. <laughs> well done. Oh, what an animal. Oh, oh. beautiful. Oh. Lifetime's worth of dreams. <laughs> yep, that's awesome. Boy, when Pop loved it, didn't this? Amazing. What do you think? Pretty sweet. Good bull. My lovely bull. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a great bull to be. An old man's dream. <laughs> Remember that time uh, we had cigars, luggage, and all that other fun stuff? You know, that just made this trip more epic. I did. Yeah. No suitcase, no clothes. Had to go to the store, buy boots and clothes and socks and all kinds of shite. And, uh, you know, that just makes it uh, a better deal. Mm hmm. Suck less, yep. kill more. Yeah, suck less, kill more. It's seriously one, probably my favorite round for a client. Oh, yeah. Is a rigby. It just, yeah. there is no comeback from it. Elephants, you name it, I mean, lion. That'll Ooh, do it. It smokes a lot. Yeah. Um, it actually just throws them in the corner and off the ropes and then they wobble a few times and it goes terrible. <laughs> With buffalo, I mean, it's as you've seen. Yeah. 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 David actually spotted some bulls early this morning and called us and we got to him and a group of bulls and cows were walking over the road, which we presume was the same one he had seen. And then we went over to try and intercept them and we saw them and then we actually came across this group of bulls and there were about six or seven bulls in here. And... Uh, this guy and you know and others and some were a bit soft but then we had to uh, sort of sneak down the hill and the mountain and we had to get into position and we took a longer shot than you normally take just over 100 yards um, but I mean it was a perfect shot and it was the only shot we, we really had and one shot with a 416 Rigby and he is stone dead very very good and it's a it's, it's a real memory isn't it oh yes a real memory it's kind of a uh, a lifelong dream. I know my dad was a, he read all the greats, the Africa greats, the all the safari stuff, and we talked about it at length a lot when I was young. And he never was able to come over here. And so I've got his knife with me. <laughs> um, and uh, I just don't know what to, how to describe it. It's such an awesome feeling uh, to be able to uh, have a dream that long and finally fulfill it with the help of Quinn. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. And, uh, and all the folks here that, uh, that make this wonderful. And I can't say enough about having my son with me for this. It's such an honor and, and a thrill. And uh, 
it's, it's just great. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> well done. Awesome. <laughs> three days, three days. Yeah. Three days. Thank we got another it. one. Thank I know. You another one. Uh, we did good. And that is fun day. That's, that's, oh, yeah. that's the fun. Thank you, thank yes. you, thank thank you, you very much. Thank you, yes. thank you. Yes. Yes. Well done, <laughs> thank sir. Thank you, good. Thank you, yeah. good. Thank you, good. Yeah. Well done. Close to a successful buffalo hunt. Yeah. My first, it won't be my last. Yeah. Well, cheers. 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 Well done, Hal. Thank you. Well done, old Scott. How's the trail? <laughs> that is... That is mist. No, it wasn't, it wasn't a... Okay. That's just, it's just a T. Okay. A little to the right, yeah? Yeah, a little bit to the right. I have to recalculate my, uh, my thinking here, though. Yeah. Thank you, sir. As I said, uh, just got, I'm just quite interested to see what that caliber does to the heads and you know that sort of. Um, yeah, it's dirty. So that sort of ends the argument. Mm -hmm. So well, this is kind of a test thing, so ignore the sort of gruesomeness of it. But it's a new caliber, and we want to see what it actually how it performs on animals. So that's why this impala was the unfortunate victim. <laughs> and we're going to carry on. Mm hmm. A bit of good eating right there. No, oh, well, and especially like that. Mm-hmm. Didn't even know was. I love their coats. Yeah. Yeah. So soft. Mm. Supper. Mm-hmm. So that's that's just a youngster. And that's
Oh, how awesome is that? That's a big bull. Whoa, what a lovely little hunt there. <laughs> Back to the heart. Thank you, sir. Awesome. You've shot three pretty shit trophies this trip, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Dude. Damn. Well, adrenalized fingers. Yes. yes. Exactly. Exactly. I couldn't hold. I'm still shaking. <laughs> I guess that's what it's all about. Good job. Good job. Good boy. Oh man. Oh. How gorgeous is that? That doesn't suck. Oh, it doesn't suck. Oh no, that's proper suck. The guy hooks wrong. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Well then. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. No tracking. <laughs> um, tracking. Yeah. Why did that bull not come out the shoulder? Yeah, it didn't hurt. But a sable's like it. A lot of animals put it down go through. It's so dense. No, nope, that's not it. Yet. Could be in there. But what oh. I like about a caliber <laughs> like this, as I said, even doesn't matter how good the quality of the bullet is. Right. There's so much energy that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm happy, happy, happy. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. Yeah, this is, I mean, well over 40, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's the one that we were looking for, which I'm very pleased we've got. He made us look a bit, <laughs> but we <Yes>. got him. <laughs> well, I mean, from 8 o'clock until whatever, whatever time it is. Yeah. My it's watch quick. Quarter to till 11. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Started off this morning uh, absolutely calm and quiet too quiet uh, but when he got us over on uh, a, a group of cows and a couple of young bulls and we couldn't find this guy and he knew he was in there somewhere but we kind of figured he was off chasing other girlfriends so uh, backed out came around and um, Nikki spotted him from the road and so we put the stalk on and uh, James got us in with in how far was it? About 135. 135 yards and quartering away shot and uh, yeah, there he is. It's a beautiful bull, worth every penny. Oh yeah, absolutely, it's gorgeous, unbelievable. Then normally I use, so I use a lot of hot English mustard, and then normally whole grain mustard. But I don't have any whole grain mustard yet. But it doesn't matter. He's just messing around here. I don't know what he's doing. At home we would call that uh, prepping the barbecue. Uh, uh, yeah, seasoning it up. What? What is it? What is that? Mm -hmm. That's uh, Lauren at a buffalo. It was harvested uh, two days ago. Correct. A little lime, some garlic coming up next. Yeah. Uh, concoction of everything in the kitchen. Uh, 
first of all, I'm, no, 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 no. I, I no, no he's, 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 got, he's got a carpet first. I know, but I just want to give you a little. <laughs> and what do you think of it? I mean, the knife, sorry. Uh, uh, it's, no, it, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> just like it, exactly like it. Very well done. I mean, yeah. From the shooting. No, well, from the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did the shooting. You do the cooking. You do. You do the carving. Yes, do the whole thing, and we do the other one too. There's a whole Africa. another what? Can I do this? So that you can. Do it here on this end where it counts. Oh, I hope you. it's gonna be good. The salad looks amazing. Was walking straight towards him. That was a bull that I would think would be the white trees with the light green. <laughs> yes, yes, Just yes. look right in, right in there. Where there's an opening, there's one standing right in there. Started off uh, about two o'clock this morning. Dad was playing King of the Thunder Throne. Yep. And uh, we got up this morning, had to leave him behind, unfortunately. And uh, we went looking for a bush buck this morning. Had a great little jaunt right out of the bat, saw three bush buck. And then we went out, to, uh, we got back to the truck, and Mark had spotted a big bull, Kudu, for us to come look at. We went up to the top of the hill and uh, caught them just as they were going into the thick stuff to lay down for the day. We saw a magnificent buffalo bull going up to lay down and then uh, we rolled out to check on Hal and uh, had a little lunch, a little siesta. Came out and uh, Frinda wanted to show us where the big kudu were. So 
Yeah, yeah. Yep. So we came up here, made a good stalk, jumped in the truck, made a, made another attempt, and uh, unfortunately, we knew it was a slim chance walking in towards the sun, but it was the only option we had. But now we're drinking a beer, enjoying the beautiful sunset in this amazing place, and uh, I guess we'll pop smoke on this place and go to Robbie's, and then we'll see this place in a, another year or two. Good to, good to see you, buddy. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll see you, we'll catch you in the in the line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the line. In the line. Yeah. Okay. Really enjoyed having you guys and you, uh, you enjoy the rest of your safari and be well and we'll see you in January. Yeah. 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 How are you doing, ma'am? Good to see you. I yet to contend with the grass. <laughs> oh, I could hear that hit it. A little far back? No. Uh, perfect. Perfect shot. Like that? Yep. Perfect. Perfect shot. A little yeah. far forward. That's right. Hey. All good. All good. You've, you've christened that boy. Yes. In Africa. Well, we, fin we finally made it up to the Stormbird, and this is the uh, first afternoon stalk. What you guys just witnessed was the Fat Guy Shamu Grass Slide Caterpillar Walk. Um, I think he was about just over 330 yards, and he's the uh, first uh, spring buck of the trip. To be continued. Mud. Mud on it this time. Amateurs. 
for the 22 caliber. I know. It's pretty dang good. Very good. my guide he gets the crap. and did you just yeah. yep. back on sketch drop on the spot one shot awesome. behind the shoulder <laughs> fantastic through the quartering away through the shoulder yeah. actually yeah. quartering away lovely dropped him yeah we, we shot it like you yeah oh well, okay you know, we guy. just we kind of just management yeah but it would take us off fancy and that gun still shooting dead on oh well this has not been my okay, day okay so let me just tell you what happened <laughs> Brown eyes. Yeah. Yeah. He comes in. Story starts like that. <laughs> like he's the expert, but it's absolutely been a clown show. Oh, beyond that. He shoots his um, uh, springbuck, walks up, and and the whole muzzle goes into a, into a little molehill, <laughs> and he turns it around, and all the sand runs through the barrel oh. into the action. Oh, <laughs> and, oh, oh, no. <laughs> and then he tries to put it around and gets stuck. We had to go back to the lodge and yeah. knock it out of the ramrod and clean oh, the rifle and stuff. He gets in, he's got like a little bag yeah. that you put behind, you know, so you can... He's sand, lost sand it. Bag. Just yeah. So it's been a goon show. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Rather, you know, and we all meant to learn from it. Mm. Yeah. But, but the shooting was good. The shooting was good. <laughs> good. We you quite like the look of the blessed back there. Yeah, they're pretty good. That's hurt. That'll need a band-aid. He's going down. He's going down. I think this is our guy. Yeah, I think it is. it is too. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is our guy. Jeez, that's old. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Awesome. So there we are. That is the old, old and buggered. You know, his teeth are done. Look at his horns. Whew, that's foreverly old. Lovely. Fits the description. It does. <laughs> All scarred up, Roman nose. Yeah. That fits the description of an old fart. Yeah. Yeah. Vintage. Look at Vintage. the mass on it, though. Yeah. Look at the mass. Oh, yeah. yeah. These markings are interesting. Very interesting. They don't often get that sort of brown piece there. Awesome. <laughs> that was fun. So this morning uh, we're going to uh, go shoot something. We don't know what yet, but we're going to go shoot something. Um, maybe visit some uh, cave art and uh, just uh, in general have fun today. No pressure. Everything's done. Last day here. Hate to leave, but ready to go home and see mama. Quickly. There's our shooting bag. Mm -hmm. 
You've now resorted to jacket. Mm. Yeah. Just like that. So I got 482. Yes. Yeah. It's deceptive, eh? it looks closer. 480 yeah. is a bit bush. I mean, 480 yards, most people can't even see that far. I mean, that is a bang in the middle. There it is, yeah. Yeah, right there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, look. We basically, our exercises today is we, we, we're doing culling, pretty much, and we are, we, we sort of, experimenting on rifles and and on rangers and on various things and trying out some new ammo and this is a 6.5 by 284 by two normal and uh what grain is that bullet 130 sirocco swift and uh we shot this then at 480 yeah 480 yards hit him twice i uh, didn't really have to but we did um and the performance was very good. The the bullet was actually protruding out the other side. It had turned around, obviously hit bone, and it was doing that on the skin on the other side. And then, uh, but yeah, this is an old bless buck, and we're just enjoying ourselves and getting rid of these old guys that need to be taken off. They, they shot a, a bless buck and I think it's a gut shot and we're just keeping an eye on it so that it doesn't get away because there are lots of other ones here. But they've got him now. Well, let's go and uh, wish hearty congratulations <laughs> on a job well done. <coughs> These are great. All right, good, good. Well done. Thank you, sir. It was actually yeah. fun to watch from yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, that's exactly what we're figuring. Okay, we're going to go and look at some rock art. This this area is very famous for many, many um, locations where there's rock art, which date back from 4,000 years to about 100 years ago. Um, it's mainly the sand bushmen that used to paint these beautiful rock art sculptures, or not art sculptures, uh, murals. You'll see as you go, there are lots of artwork of lions. Eland is, is a, this is a particularly good one of an eland. Um, and then you'll see Val Rayback, Mountain Reedback, Cheetah, all sorts of things. And then apparently this, there's a lot of spir spirituality. So you, you'll see a lot of, um, of the, like the guys here without heads on. And their heads are all apart from their body. Now, I'm just sucking this because someone told me, and that was Steve Bassett, and he knows what he's talking about. Um, but uh, I mean, you can sort of use your imagination. But every time I come here, you see something different. There's a bow mm -hmm. strapped across and a quiver. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's somebody getting hurt, gored, eaten. Mm -hmm. I don't Is know what. Yeah, I don't know. So there are two lionesses here lying down. That's one, also one of my favorites. Black is from the smoke. Because there's some old stuff here, or some real old stuff, and somebody drew over part of it. Fantastic. Could be. I know exactly what you want to say. These are um, where they used to put their medicines and things. Oh, Look at all of this. Yeah. Looks like it's jumped off. That does look like it's jumped You see the jackals here? Yeah.
there's a story on the ranch here of um, of a cache of arms that were found about oh, about 35 years ago. Our turmoil history in South Africa, there was a civil war um, at the turn of the last century where the British Empire decided to come and invade South Africa. And South Africa you know, is divided up amongst Afrikaans and uh, English people. And uh, some loyalties went towards the, the British Empire and obviously other loyalties went towards the resistance. And um, the resistance were known as the Boers and uh, they fought against the British Empire. And uh, they were one of the first people to fight the British Empire in a, in, in a, in a, in a guerilla, guerrilla warfare um, uh, modus operandi. And they used to put, they used to have caches all over South Africa in, in, in strategic places. And in the, in the caches, they also they used to put gold that they'd mined out of the Transvaal. And I'm not for one minute saying that the, the missing, uh, the, the, the cache that was discovered on this farm a couple of years ago has got gold in it. Well, who knows? But um, just to give you some background history, they had these caches all over the country. And many of these caches were obviously forgotten about over, um, after the war. So now, you know, we're a good, we're a good 120, 130 years later. Um, so when I was a youngster, I was at boarding school and my father phoned me and he was extremely excited. He said one of our, one of our um, cattlemen had uh, gone up the mountain to collect some cattle and it started raining. So to get out of the, uh, the, the rain that was belting down on him, he, he, he was looking for an overhang in the mountain, one of the cliffs. And he got into this overhang uh, to shelter himself. And while he was there, he saw another, another little hole. And um, he obviously t caught his attention. He had a look inside there and it went into a big cavern and he went in there. And of course it was dark inside there, but he had a box of matches. He was a smoker. And he went in there and he lit the matches and he had a look inside there and he said it was full of firearms and boxes and all sorts of things. And anyway, came back down the mountain after the rain, came to my father and told my father the story. And my father, being an amateur, amateur historian, was incredibly excited about it. And uh, but unfortunately, he had, my father just had a hip replacement operation, and he was uh, he was confined to just uh, pottering around the house. He couldn't he couldn't walk up mountains or anything. So he got he got the stockman to tell him exactly where um, where this cash was, or the so-called cash. And of course, then when he phoned me when I was at boarding school, he told me about it, and I was incredibly excited. It was in two weeks' time I was coming home for. Uh, for a holiday and uh, um, I would then you know go up the mountain with the stockman and he'd show me where it was anyway um, two weeks were up I came home from boarding school for holidays and I arrived to the news that my father told me that um, this old dear stockman that we had that looked after that section of the ranch had passed away two days before I'd got here um, so unfortunately he wasn't here to guide me to where this uh, so-called cache was. Anyway, my father explained to me exactly where, where he thought it was. And I went up there with a couple of other people. And for the whole holiday we searched and searched and couldn't find it. And, uh, and then, you know, as a young adult coming back to the ranch and joining my father, on many occasions we went up there to go and look for it and we never found it. So um, it's still up there someone can find it someday but it's it's incredibly wild up there and there are a lot of rocks and a lot of overhangs and bush so it will be quite hard to find but uh, we've tried our hardest but we haven't found it yet i think everybody's enjoyed themselves i think so yeah they'll be back i think we'll all be back oh yeah good lord's willing mm -hmm. i'll be back yeah what a magnificent place Friendship we've made. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.